Well, good uh, afternoon, and welcome to this week's edition of Monday Moments. We need to start off this week's Monday Moments with a little bit of an apology. Uh, we feel really, really bad about this, but uh, you may or may not know this. Uh, Lion in Winter is set in winter. It's actually set at Christmas time, and uh, apparently we really confused Mother Nature uh, this weekend because uh, Mother Nature delivered like six to eight inches of snow on Easter and uh, I think she thought you know we're doing a Christmas show uh, a, a show that's set at Christmas and so and Mother Nature is a subscriber but she's a little dotty in the head sometimes um, so our bad uh, we take responsibility for the snow um, but so you can forgive us by coming to see Lion and Winter this weekend, uh, opening up on Friday. And uh, I'm sitting here in front of the set. Uh, you can see it behind me here. Uh, the set is uh, really cool, actually. Uh, it looks really, really awesome. And over the weekend, uh, we put the lights up on it. And uh, uh, it looks really, really cool. Um, and uh, big shout outs to Brandon Clark, who is lighting designing the show for the work that he's done on it. Um, also, I want to say that uh, this uh, last Friday, I had the opportunity to sit in on rehearsal and uh, really see the cast working. And uh, I got to say, wow. Uh, the cast is doing a tremendous job with this uh, very challenging piece of theater. And uh, I really want to encourage everyone to make sure that they come out and see this. This is the sort of show that uh, we don't do all that often at Community Players because uh, it's one of those shows that kind of straddles the boundary of is it a drama? Is it, you know, you know what what is it? Um, and... Uh, uh, you know, you really need to take advantage of seeing uh, some of our actors really stretch their artistic muscles uh, and their acting muscles to uh, do a show that is is just so powerful. Um, and it really does require you as an audience to be engaged uh, throughout the show. Uh, it's not the sort of show where you can just sit back and, and let the guffaws hit you because they, they're, they're not there. But uh, if you are engaged in the show and uh, you're watching these wonderful performers uh, do their do their thing in this show uh, you are in for a real treat with the performance that we've got coming up this weekend um, you know like I said uh, I didn't direct a show uh, our our associate director uh, Tyler Rennie did and the, and I was just blown away watching the show uh, last week so we really want to make sure that you get blown away by the show and uh, get your tickets for Line and Winner opening up this Friday and running for two weekends. The box office is now officially open as of, you know, like uh, just a few seconds ago uh, for general public to call in and get your tickets for Lion and Winter. And, and in all seriousness, this is a show that really don't miss it because we don't do these kind of shows that often because they're not these commercial feel good, happy go lucky kind of shows. So we only do these sort of shows once every about four or five years. Uh, so take advantage of the opportunity to see some of your friends and neighbors really showing uh, the acting chops that they they bought uh, and come out and see this show. And as always, just lots of stuff happening around here as we're getting ready uh, for um, uh, coming up. Uh, getting ready for uh, our, to launch our season ticket drive. That's going to be on April 20th. So there's a whole bunch of behind the scenes things going on right now with that show. And also uh, coming up at the end of this April, um, we will have auditions for our season closing production of Laughing Stock. And uh, I do promise. No, I can't promise that there won't be snow anymore because Mother Nature, she's so confused. And uh, like I said, our bad. The show does take place, Lion in Winter does take place at Christmas. And it's called Lion in Winter. And so I think we just confused her. So to the Easter Bunny, we say we're sorry. And to Mother Nature, we say buy a freaking calendar. All right. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you next week.